Let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that you answer our prayers in ways that glorify your name, that lead us to glorify you, that lead us to know you, love you, and serve you more, especially as we continue through this last calendar month of the year. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, today is Friday, the 12th of November, and we are moving quickly through the month of November, keeping in mind that the last Sunday of this month is actually the beginning of the next liturgical year. And of course, this uh, weekend is our first full weekend in daylight, Eastern Daylight Time. We're no longer in the Atlantic Time Zone and haven't been for the past week. We are now in the uh, Eastern Time Zone. And there is thought to making it either one or the other for year-round, either always in the Atlantic time zone or always in the uh, the Eastern time zone, also known as Standard Time and Daylight Savings Time, whatever. But we are now in the Standard Time, which I wish we would stay in forever. But that's a whole different ball game, and that's not the topic of what we're talking about today. Not exactly, but it kind of is. Because that's a very routine, it's a mundane thing, you know, we always have to keep that in mind. Uh, twice a year, we spring ahead, fall behind, and all the other things that we are doing, and that's kind of what our gospel is about today. Because we're in that time of the liturgical year where our focus is on, are you ready to encounter Christ at the end of your life? Or, if Jesus returns tomorrow, then tomorrow. But... Uh, that's really the focus. And the focus of today's reading is, by the way, most people are not. They're just going to be busy being who they normally are. Everything is going to be as life usually it is. And then all of a sudden, everything's going to change. And so that is the Lord saying, keep an eye, always be ready, always be ready for that time you may encounter the Lord, because you're going to be surrounded by people who are too busy living life, and there's nothing wrong with that, too busy living life to pay attention to the other signs that are warning that you need to prepare for the time you encounter Christ. And so we see this. This is coming, by the way, from the Gospel of Luke. And as we look at the readings, you know, they make those powerful readings, as in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They will be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. In a sense, we've had that warning twice in our lifetimes, if we're talking about since the turn of the century. There was the great change that happened in the world on September 11th. And that change happened throughout the world. Some people who are listening right now were not alive then. Other people were. But that change happened throughout the world. And the world was never the same after those planes flew into uh, the World Trade Center. And if we look at that, we can see that everything was working all the same. Everything was running, everything just the way it normally goes. People were attending, were going to work just as they normally did in New York. But people all over the world, people were flying on airplanes just as they did all over the world. And of course, as you may or may not remember, depending on you know how old you are, after September, after the World Trade Center crash, both of them and, and the FAA fig figured out what was going on, air travel was stopped in the United States. The airspace in the United States was closed, and the only thing flying in the United States was military jets. There was nothing else. Here in Boston, it was eerily quiet. I remember that, and occasionally you'd hear a military jet fly overhead, but that's what was going on. And therefore, as we see all that and we recognize all of that happened, um, we also recognize exactly what the gospel said happened. Uh, people were just living their life as they normally would, and then everything changed overnight. Everything just or actually wasn't even overnight. It was in a few hours. Everything changed. Obviously, in New York, everything changed instantaneously. But up until that moment, everything was running just the same. And then when that moment hit, 
everything changed, obviously in New York, and then springing out also in the Pentagon and also in Pennsylvania, and then springing out throughout the entire world. But it all started, and it is exactly that dynamic we see in the Gospels. So that question that Jesus brings up, which leads us in his statement, leads us to ask the question, will we be ready for a moment that may change our life instantly and be ready by recognizing that we are rooted in the gospel of Christ and we are rooted in a relationship with Christ? And we can see that that can happen at any time. Now, by the way, it's happened again, and that was when COVID hit. And that one was all of a sudden when we had the shutdown. Um, And when the shutdown happened, then all of a sudden, everything was again different all over again when the shutdown happened. And so all of a sudden, just like that, there is no church, there is no restaurant, there is no school, there is not, and now we have to do everything online. We're going to talk more about this on the other side of the break. We are glad that you are here, and if this is your first time tuning into St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, I just want to welcome you and hope that our words today touch your heart. If you're returning to our program, then welcome back. Assuming that you are returning because you've enjoyed the previous programs, we encourage encourage you to share this link with friends and family so we can reach a larger audience larger we can reach a larger audience we really can but uh, what uh, we have we give to you freely although we will teach you if you'd like to support the program how to do that and what we have here is the word of god and our reflection on it to help you to live your baptismal promises we'll be right back right after this Do you know that you can put together an adoration chapel of your own in your own house? With concerns surrounding the coronavirus and social distancing, many miss the opportunity to pray before the Blessed Sacrament. However, with a little ingenuity, it is quite easy and you are not doing anything irreverent or illicit. Simply search Eucharistic Adoration Live on YouTube and several live channels in different parts of the world will pop up. Now you can engage in Eucharistic Adoration in your own home if it is not available in your local parish church. Eucharistic Adoration Live on YouTube. St. Anthony Parish, Alston, Massachusetts. And don't forget our website, catholicaudiomedia.com. You can check that out. By the way, this week we're going to have, this coming week, on our other podcast, other broadcast on WROL at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is then podcast right after the program, we're going to have an interview with Aude Duga, and I'm not going to pronounce, I didn't pronounce her name well. Uh, She's from France. I did the interview calling into Paris, and she just finished a book on Jerome Lejeune, who is up for canonization, up for uh, his cause for canonization. Obviously, first would be beatification. So, what we'd call cause for sainthood. So, anyway, uh, great story. She, uh, I called her, and she was in France. She is French. Uh, her, she, she was worried about her English, but I think her English was fine. And, you know, it, it is with a heavy French accent, but I think we could all understand it. So, anyway, that is uh, next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday that you can see in the podcast. And then Thursday also, the entire interview as one piece is also released. So, you see that next week. So anyway, we're talking about that gospel where just everything happens, you know, everything, everyone is just living their lives, but no one's paying attention to the signs. No one is preparing themselves for if everything should change. And I've talked about this has happened twice in our own lifetime that we know of. I mean, there's always those moments that say, do you remember um, when something happened? And, And, you know, when John F. Kennedy was shot, I was five years old, so I don't remember anything. But uh, when John F. Kennedy was shot, obviously that changed the world too. And then people would say, do you remember where you were then happened? When John Lennon was shot, I was in the Navy. I remember when we got that announcement. And do you remember in the world, you know, when that happened? There are those things. But then there are those other even greater things, such as the World Trade Center bombing uh, in 2001, uh, the planes and which also was the Pentagon and also in, in Pennsylvania. And the other one, which was the uh, major uh, issue of uh, the, the COVID and suddenly the shutdown, two major things that changed our economy, changed our world, changed everything in an instant, uh, literally. So those things are also a, a central element of what 
we recognize, and this is what Jesus is talking about, there will come that time, something similar to that, where your life will change completely. And the reason is because now the Lord has come and the new new heaven, the new earth, the new king who is Christ. And are you ready for that moment to happen? And, uh, you know, we're not expecting that moment to happen tomorrow, but in our own lives, we know it could happen tomorrow. We never, we don't know where we're going to be tomorrow. We don't know how long we're going to live. We don't know if something may happen. I mean, there, even during the COVID time, there were stories of people who are just in great health, everything wonderful. They got COVID and two weeks later they were dead. So, This is that kind of sad time where we remember that and actually asking the question, are we rooted in the gospel? Because that always leads us to be prepared for whatever comes our way. That is always, always important. Sometimes I've had some uh, very difficult times and um, I am reminded of the words from St. Therese of uh, Avila. And that is the story of let nothing disturb thee, as usually you see the older translation. And uh, she says, uh, let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, all things uh, pass away. God never changes, patience obtains all things. Those who have God lack nothing, God alone is enough. Now that is subscribed subscribed to uh, St. Therese of Avila who, of course, is from Avila, Spain, a great mystic doctor of the church. And sometimes I have to go look that up to remind myself of those words when things get rather uh, nerve-wracking. And I have to say, no, no, I have to trust in the Lord. I remember uh, a wonderful woman over at the Cathedral of Holy Cross said, you know, when you had struggles with with maybe something going on, she says, no, turn everything over to Jesus and Mary. And she would do that all the time. And uh, the Cardinal told me that. Cardinal O'Malley told me that as well. Important words for us to keep in mind. If what you heard today touched your heart, we encourage you to share today's podcast with friends and family so they can be enlightened as well. As you know, we want to reach more and more listeners throughout the country. Let more and more people know we are here. Tell you, you know, when Thanksgiving comes, you know, you've been listening to this great podcast. Have you checked this out? And or, you, you know, as I said, this the other side. Uh, wow, well, you know, did you want to hear what he said this morning? Hey, you know what? Let people know where they can hear, whether you like it, whether you agree with it or not. It's always interesting in that sense. And uh, thank you again for tuning in. We always want you to keep that in mind. We are here every single Monday through Friday, so we'll see you next week at midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning on WEZE. And you can also hear us at catholicaudiomedia.com. Check out the tabs there. You can contact us, send us feedback. You can donate to the show to support us, and uh, you can listen to the archives of the show. Have yourself a blessed day. We'll see you on Monday. In Cristo vivimos.